Yo, what's good, people? It's your boy, your favorite reviewers, favorite reviewer, Mr. Cheap Sense. Just getting off from work, uh, just got in the house, and what's the first thing I decide to do? I decide to come on here and entertain you guys with, as you can see from my header, nine fragrances that no one hypes anymore. And I would say 10, and there are a few fragrances I could have thrown in here, but the ones that I could have thrown in, I've heard a few reviewers recently um, mention, so I can't really say anything about them. And actually, there are two in this list that actually shouldn't be here either. But they don't get talked about as much as they used to. And so with that being said, the one I didn't put in is Burberry Touch. Because I've seen that fragrance still either is honorable mention or is in some kind of list for someone. Uh, but me personally, I chose not to put that one in there. Uh, everyone knows that Burberry Touch is a great scent. Um, long lasting still to this day and I chose not to put it in I also could have put chrome in because Azaro chrome is an old school fragrance uh, that was hyped up a lot and I don't know I just decided not to put it in so we just gonna stick with these nine guys um, I'm not even gonna concern myself um, with trying to figure it out and as I get better and better at doing these videos and my concepts get a little better, um, I'll come up with better content and get this squared away. But right now, let's get to it. So, when I talk about fragrances that aren't hyped anymore, this is for several different reasons. And one of the main reasons is because, and I've said this before, People's collections, if you're a collector, they do grow. You do tend to pick up more up-to-date and newer fra hyped fragrances. And you tend to push your older stuff to the back. Um, the newer stuff tends to be more crowd-pleasing, more hyped. Um, and of course, everyone wants to keep up with the Joneses. Unlike me, I don't care what the fuck the Joneses got going on. My money isn't long like that. My pockets aren't deep like that. So, me trying to keep up with everybody else and buy the latest Blue Day Chanel or Sauvage or the newest YSL or whatever new concoction of a fragrance somebody makes up, I'm not running out and spending that kind of coin. So, um, you guys can have at it. Do whatever you choose to do. This this is no you guys. I just can't afford some of this new stuff that comes out. And the prices are ridiculous. But it saddens me to know that we have such great fragrances over time. And nobody still gives it the respect that it's due. Because like I said before, a lot of these older fragrances, if it wasn't for them... And the hype that was surrounding them when they came out, a lot of these newer fragrances probably wouldn't be here right now. So you always have to pay homage to the predecessors who came before. Uh, same with the elder reviewers like Robes 08, like Joy I mean, uh, Ash from Gent Sense, um, Brooklyn Fragrance Lover, um, who else? Um, Big Beard Business, all of them guys who came before me. And I can only speak for me. I can't speak for anybody else. Um, all of those guys and so on and so on. I pay homage to them. Um, no disrespect whenever I say what I say. And I mean everything that I say. But it's with no harm intended. Um, sometimes you do tend to... As your channel grows, I understand that you get more busy. Uh, what's happening, Mike? 
you get more busy, you get more comments, you get more questions, and um, you know sometimes you can't get to everybody. And it kind of stung me a little bit that when I first started, you know, uh, asking questions and saying stuff, and some people that I thought would never even respond back responded back, and then after a certain amount of time, you stop getting responses. So that kind of, you know, disheartened me a little bit. But, you know, it's cool. You have to wipe your shoulder off and keep it moving. So that's what I do. And I'm happy with what I got going here. And if I have any questions and people don't want to answer that I look up to, then so be it. I'll find the answer on my own. Uh, but I still pay homage to them guys. I still shout them out. As y'all know in my videos, I mention Joy I mean a lot. He was a big influence on me. Uh, I don't know what. Uh, like pulled me or gravitated me towards his channel more than anybody else because I actually used to love Big Beard Business Channel but I guess when he started doing more of the higher end fragrances they don't appeal to me and whenever not just him but anyone else does fragrances like that I tend to like not even watch those videos but I watch the videos when they do the cheapies or they do the older fragrances um I tend to watch those more because that's more in my price range. Uh, but with that being said, these nine fragrances are ones that when I first came into the fragrance game, and when I say that, I say it loosely because I've only been doing this maybe a little over a year, maybe almost two years. I mean, you can go back and see my first video and it'll tell you exactly how long, when was my first video made. But when I first came into the game, most of these fragrances were being talked about and hyped up. And then not too far long into the future after that, like these just faded off into oblivion. And I can remember when people were hyping these fragrances up, I was running out trying to find them. And I have one in this collection that eluded me for a long time. And I finally got my hands on it. And I actually have two like that. But one of them isn't hype like that. So um, with that being said, let's get to the first one. This is really in no particular order. I, I just picked out nine fragrances that I know I can remember vaguely people talking about and hyping up at one point in time. And me ordering or running out trying to find them profusely. And um, first up is one that... A lot of reviewers talk about the note of Iris. And Iris, I believe, is actually in this one also. And Iris gives off a powdery, sometimes a lipsticky kind of vibe. And this, to me, is one of the most beautiful, very underrated now fragrances from the house of Doji and Gabbana. This is Doji and Gabbana Pour On. And yes, this is probably reformulated uh, because I believe the one, the vintage one has a metal top. This is plastic, um, but it's still a nice bottle, very elegant. Uh, Lipsticky kind of vibe. You get that in Dior own products. Um, I actually like this a lot. And that red tobacco by Mencera is still on me and I sprayed it on uh, about 6 o'clock this morning and it's still on me it's a skin scent now like faint but I can still smell it so um, with that being said I'm going to spray this now yeah off the rip you get that lipstick kind of vibe uh, this is more of a formal type fragrance I would wear this with a suit tie maybe church or on a date this is more to me I don't know evening wear can be kind of intimate very masculine and sexy if you ask me uh, I think I picked this one up at TJ Maxx for maybe around 30 40 bucks at the time uh, this is 
I can't even tell what milliliter this is. It doesn't even have the sticker on it. But anyway, um, if you see this and you don't have it, pick it up, guys. Trust me, you'll like it. Unless you don't like that lipstick kind of vibe. But I like it. it smells nice. It has a tad bit of sweetness to it. I don't know the notes by heart, but I'm pretty sure if you want to know more about it, you can either watch my video. It's an older video. I do have to update, but you can either look at my video, watch someone else do a review of it, or you can just look it up online and it'll give you the note breakdown. I think I saw a big bottle of this the other day in TJ Maxx. I might have showed it in a video, but I don't need that because I've had this for a while now and I really don't use it that much, but it's in my collection for a reason. Next up, another great fragrance that has been uh, said that it could be a clone of. Can't remember the name of the clone of the fragrance, but as an entity of its own, this is a great fragrance. And it was hyped up a lot. <laughs> you wear purple lipstick like A-Rod. Um... This fragrance was hyped up a lot and it made me actually want to have it and smell it. And since I couldn't get a sample of it, I just found a bottle and it was like $15 to $20 at Ross. I believe that's where I got this. And it is Sean John's Giveable. Damn good fragrance. Nobody talks about it, any, about it anymore. And I guess it's because of the fragrance that it mimics. Uh, they buy that one over this one. But if you're looking for a cheap alternative to whatever the hell that fragrance is, this is it. Sorry, I can't give you guys the fragrance, but it's probably some that's ridiculous price fragrance anyway. And I just rather stick with this beautiful fragrance. A little bit of an alcohol blast in the opening. But to me, it smells damn good. Women love it. Still. And I think I've only worn this once, maybe. But I need to revisit it and wear it to work one day. Just to see how it performs. But this is Sean John Unforgivable. Um, another one that was really talked about when I first got into the fragrance game. And now, all of a sudden, people are... Millicent Imperial. Yeah, that's it. I, I knew it was something like that. I just couldn't remember what it was. So thanks, guys. That's what you are here for, to help each other out. This is your channel just as much as mine. So um, thanks for the assist. This is another fragrance. I talked about it a couple a day or two ago, I believe. It was hyped up a lot when I first came into the game. And then all of a sudden, people are shitting on it, saying that it's genetic, it's synthetic, it smells like this and smells like that. And I think the last person that I know for sure talked about this fragrance was Cuba Nose. And he shit it all over it. He said he bought it because somebody referred it to him. And he didn't like it. And he trashed it. So this is from the house of Moschino or Moschino, however you want to say it. This is Uomo. Very hyped up fragrance when I first started doing fragrances, even buying, just buying fragrances, not even doing reviews yet. Um, people talked about this thing like crazy and then all of a sudden, I guess they turned into niche snobs or whatever the hell you want to call it, that they got into different fragrances and they don't even talk about it anymore. They say it's crap, it's this and that, but I don't understand how you hype it so much and then all of a sudden now it's trash not anything groundbreaking not that i can say any of these i have here are groundbreaking but they still are nice fragrances that uh people can buy for cheap and enjoy this one was a cheapy i ordered from fragrance x i think i paid maybe nine or ten maybe 15 bucks for it it was pretty cheap but i like it it is what it is. Uh, next up, another fragrance that nobody really talks about that is 
very very nice i like it i like the bottle presentation the cap on this thing is nice it's kind of heavy the sprayer is good and the juice inside is wonderful it is usher now i have visited one or two of the other fragrances that he put out and one of them is not that good um i do want to try one of the other ones i can't remember the name of it but um i do want to try it out but this is a damn good fragrance guys and i don't know what the hell people don't even talk about it anymore it smells damn good to me i might just wear this tomorrow oh man it's so nice i don't i don't know why people don't wear these fragrances anymore um i don't even i'm not even sure if a lot of people even have these fragrances in their collection and if they do i don't know why they don't talk about them uh but they're in mind and i'm gonna talk about them so next up is another and i do know one thing a lot of celebrity don't get talked about a lot because most of the time they flop but some of these particular ones I have here, like the Usher and the next one coming up, and the Sean John Unforgivable are damn good fragrances. Um, yeah, you saw Usher, and you should have got it, because it's a damn good fragrance. If it's this particular bottle, I like it. And I think it's like 15 20 bucks now, something like that, if not a little cheaper. Uh, the next one is similar to... The Usher, as far as like the top on it, and once you see the top, you may know what this is, but this is the top for Usher, and you see the attention to detail, and this one has, well, damn it, attention to detail, as you can see, all the letters, and they actually, I think, spell out something, but I'm not going to sit here and try to figure it out. And I think I know what it is, but anyway, this one is Jay-Z Gold. Another damn good fragrance that's a cheapie. And I think I saw a bottle of this in Ross either today or yesterday or a couple days ago. But another damn good fragrance that nobody talks about. And it's a shame. Smells fucking amazing, man. Yeah, Bora Bora is another one you should get if you don't already have it. Jay-Z Gold smells so good, man. Y'all just don't know. Um, next up is one that people do still talk about. Um... But I decided to throw it in here because people don't hype it like they used to. Um, even though every blue moon somebody brings it up. This one and actually the next one. The next two rather. Um, they do bring it up. And uh, it was hyped up. Especially by Joy. He talked about this one a lot. And uh, a lot of other reviewers swore by this one. And now you don't hear them talk about it much at all. Every now and then. It comes up as, like I said, an honorable mention or it ends up being in like maybe a summer or springtime type list. But this is Star Walker by Mont Blanc. And I'm not a real big fan of this one. I like it. And, um. It's a nice freshy. Um, it's not bad at all. Uh, not offensive. Uh, won't overpower anyone on the amount of sprays. Uh, it's also a cheapy. I ordered this one from Fragrance X also. Uh, so if you don't have Star Walker and you want to try it out, try it out. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and get this one out of the way. This is actually not one. The other one that I was talking about that uh, one of the other two, I should say, that people talk about. I'm going to skip those two till last. I'm going to do this one first. Actually, somebody asked me if I had this one the other night. And I pulled it out and showed it to them. And although the atomizer sucks on this one, and it could be just because I haven't used it in a while, and it could be clogged up a little, um, thallium is another great one that people don't talk about much anymore. And I'm sorry about the video quality, guys, but um, until I get my other phone fixed and see how that goes, we're going to have to deal with it. But um, another great fragrance it was actually introduced to me by a co-worker, like I said, at King and Prince, the place I lost the top of my finger. What up, Coop? And um, the guy used to wear it, and I always used to like the smell of it. And I finally got my hands on it, and it's cheap as hell. It's like between 12 and 15 bucks. Um, that Liam is the hell out of me. Uh, yeah, I mean... To some people, you know, it is what it is. You can voice your opinion. No hard feelings here. I love it, though. It's a damn good fragrance to me. Um, most sweet fragrances are kind of cloying depending on where you wear them. If you're wearing them in the high heat, of course they're going to be cloying because they're sweet. Um, so maybe you should try wearing it in the cooler weather like fall and winter. Like right now, is we're supposed to be in spring. And... It feels like fall because it's cool outside. It's kind of windy, so this will probably work good. But if you're sweating, you're in the high heat, of course it's probably going to be clawing. So try it in a different season and see what happens. But I like it. Geoengineering. <laughs> um. Let's see. The next fragrance is one that also used to be hyped up a whole hell of a lot. And it's also by the House of Mont Blanc. And it also made me pick it up because everybody talked about how, so, how good it was. And when I got it, I was blown away by it. Uh, people now shit on it. They say it smells like a, a fabric softener or dryer sheet. Um... I can see that, but it has a note of raspberry in it that makes it nice to me. And it is Mont Blanc individual. I do hear a, a few people talk about this every now and then, but not the reviewers who talk about these higher end fragrances. It's mostly the older, old school guys. Uh, I can't think of the other black guy's name that does the reviews, wears glasses. Uh, but... This is a nice fragrance. And I personally don't give two shits about what other reviewers say about this or any of these fragrances that I'm showing you guys. I like them. And Individual is damn good in my book. And last but not least is one that I chased for so long. It was hyped up so much when I first started doing this. And guys, you just don't understand. I went from store to store. I tried to order this online. I could not find it. It was always out of stock. Whenever I found it in the stores, um, I didn't have money. And when I went back to get it, it was gone. Uh, and one day, I walked in the Ross. And I had this gut feeling uh, of disappointment at first. I walked into the store and the chick I was dealing with... Ross, she's a, a supervisor there. And uh, I walked in and she said, we don't have what you're looking for because I already told her to keep an eye out for it for me. And um, she said, we don't have what you're looking for. And something in my mind kept telling me, go over there and look for yourself. And I walked over and I'm looking, I'm scaling the top three shelves, nothing. And then on the very bottom shelf, there was nothing down there, but way in the back, it looked like somebody was trying to hide it. Um, I looked down, and lo and behold, Ferragamo F Black was in a plastic 
case sitting on the shelf. And I think at the time this was like 20 bucks. And I grabbed it and I held the container. I was holding it and it was funny. People was laughing at me and I was kissing the box and I was ecstatic about having this fragrance. Uh, it was hyped up so fucking much. And I got it and I was not disappointed. And to this day, I'm still not disappointed. But as you can see, I haven't worn it much. It's still damn near a brand new bottle. Um, I only wore it that one time. And I just didn't want this juice to run out. Because I have seen these pop up from time to time. And usually it's either a big ass bottle or a little small bottle. But this is more than enough juice for me. I don't wear it all the time. Um, so... This works out perfectly for me. I love this fucking fragrance. Um, it's too bad that a lot of damn good sprayer. Um, some reviewers say that it smells too peppery to them. But if you are aware, um, Bulgari Men in Black, it's peppery as fuck. If you wear Halloween Man Shot, it's sweet, but it has a pepper note in it. I mean, there are a lot of fragrances out there that are peppery as hell. Even Dior Sauvage has a pepper note in it. And I can't, I'm not going to say I can't stand Dior Sauvage. I like it, but I can't wear it because that pepper note bothers me. It's not that bad in this to me. So, do you get baby powder? They talk about from it. You mean from F Black? Uh, it has a little bit of powderiness to it. I don't know about baby powder. Um, there's a note in this. I don't know if it's like raspberry or. There's some something in it that gives it a little bit of sweetness. But. You do get a little bit of powderiness to it, but it's not overpowering. Like Doji and Gabbana Light Blue for men. That was too much for me. And I could not stand that fragrance. And I either gave it away or threw it away. Like I could not wear that shit. And it didn't matter whether I sprayed one spray or two or three sprays. I just couldn't. It like gave me a headache. It's too powdery for me. Now. Burberry Touch has a powdery vibe to it, but it's smooth as hell, and I can wear that. And the same thing with F Black. Now, I will say with F Black, you do not want to spray more than a few sprays of this. And if you do, you need to let it dry down before you walk into a building, because you will choke the hell out of people. But it smells good, though. Uh, individual... Not F black fan. Not an F black fan. That's understandable. Everybody has their own taste. Um, me personally, I like all of these fragrances that I have shown um, right now. I have no problem with it whatsoever. But my nose is a little different than yours. So um, it's not like I train my nose to like these fragrances. It's just something in them that I get a vibe from that it resonates with me. I don't think your expectations are too high. I think you just like what you like. That's how I see it. I mean, everybody likes what they like. Like, there's somebody on this channel right now that probably don't like half of the fragrances that I just shown. Uh, yeah, I, I, I have... Um, I have Idea Loam on my scopes. Um, I've been wanting to get it for a while. And I just, I don't know why I didn't pull the trigger on it. But, um, there's somebody on here that doesn't like at least half of these fragrances. And, um, that's just how it is. I don't get mad about it. I mean, I chased down Elf Black and finally got my nose on it. And was like... Not what I expected. It happens. That new arrows 
I got the smell today. Yeah, I smell um, Versace Arrows Flame. I think it was earlier this this month or was it last month at Belks, and I like it. It still has the similar vibe to Versace Arrows, but a little different. And what I expected was it to be spicy. When they said flames, I I thought hot, peppery, spicy, and it wasn't any of that. It just wasn't any of that at all. So, I like it. Am I going to purchase it? Yeah, when it hits discounters. Uh, Yeah, always a phone call, man. It never fails. And I'm pretty sure she knows when I don't answer what I'm doing. I thought you might be coming on at 11 to do a live news report. Nah, nah. Um... Just about these nine fragrances that nobody really hypes anymore. That's all. I don't. I talk about sports a little bit, but I'm not big on it. The only thing I really talk about is basketball, and I don't really care too much for any other sport. Um, news. I try to. I tend not to do too much news. I don't watch news and shit like that because there's too much fucked up shit going on, and I don't want to hear about all that shit all the time, man. Like, Trump got the world going to shit in a handbasket. Uh, all he worried about is that fucking wall. Um, and if it was that big of an issue, then somebody would have, you know, a long time ago. And I don't see the purpose of the fucking wall anyway, because all people going to do is climb over the motherfucker. So, what's the purpose? Um, let's see. The first half of Michigan game was ugly as hell. Yeah, Purdue, Tennessee was a great game. Yeah, I there aren't many teams that I like to watch. I do like watching Duke just for the nostalgia of uh, you know them guys and how they play. They almost lost last night. For one, um, I don't watch too much college basketball, but you know. It is what it is. And I'm a big Alabama fan. Not the basketball team, but the football team. And the only time I really watch college football is when Alabama plays. So, I'm from Alabama, born and raised. Do you add on non-scented lotions before you apply fragrances? Yes, I do. Um, that's a trick that I picked up from uh, a few years back when I won the lottery. I actually won $10,000 from entering my tickets on my scratch off tickets on an online website and uh i went to savannah georgia to pick up my winnings and while I was all uh the lady told me the trick to extending or extending my fragrance or making it yeah last longer same thing um is to put on an unscented lotion before i put the fragrance on or you add the fragrance to the lotion and I did say I was going to do a video for that. Uh, that'll come at the time. But usually you just take an unscented lotion, squirt some in your hand, and then you spray the fragrance into the lotion, and then you massage it and rub it on, and it should help. Which ones do you use? What you mean, which ones do I use? Do you foil your head or razor? I use a razor. I use one of them old school razors. Um, the ones like I use that my granddaddy used to use. I always wanted to try these and I finally found some at the Dollar Tree and I used to see my granddaddy use these when I was younger when I was a kid a young lad with these kind of razors and this kind of I, I still haven't quite got the full hang of it because at times if I angle it wrong I nick my head and you know but for the most part, they work pretty good. I don't bump up. Nothing like that. So, you know, it works out pretty decent for me. 
I used to try to use uh what's that what's that um that that uh that shave cream that you used to use back that I used to use back in the day uh that you that non razor shit you put it on and you just wipe it off and it pulls the hair off your face. I used to use that on my head, but I got like the extra strength kind and it burned my scalp real bad and I stopped using it. So, and then I do have uh, some clippers that I use sometimes if I don't feel like using a razor, I just use the clippers and cut it down. And then later on when I feel like using a razor, I'll clean it bald. Um, but that's what I do. You ever smell um somebody asked me that earlier today and i looked it up on my other phone and showed it to him and it's in a little blue looking like a teardrop looking kind of bottle no i have not smelled it but i do plan on ordering that because it's pretty cheap um which lotion The kind of lotion I bought that time that the lady referred to me, I don't remember because that was like eons ago. But the one I use now is um, Dermacil. It's unscented uh, because I have dry skin. I have very dry skin. And um, this is what I use. And it is unscented. Uh, it works pretty good for me. Um it holds the fragrance pretty good and something I sprayed on Usher. It's that Usher. That's what it is. That shit smells so damn good. I can smell the pineapple in it. And yes, Usher does have pineapple in it. But Dermacil is what I use right now. pull out a machete i don't know what kind of what kind of jokes y'all got going on y'all crazy man song is super beast mode yeah i have a uh, song home and it's a soapy fragrance but it is powerful as hell too double edge those are cheap yeah I mean, they are pretty cheap, but, you know, like I said, my pockets aren't deep. Straight razor. I'm scared of straight razors. I'm not I'm not quite good with this one yet to be using a straight razor. I, I got a friend who cuts hair, and he used to live with me for a little while, and he left his straight razor laying around, and I was going to use it to shave my head one time, but that motherfucker was so goddamn sharp. I thought I was going to scalp my goddamn self. I gave that shit up. There's a big shaving community on YouTube. We guys you. Yeah, every now and then I I get those um guys who do shave videos and stuff and I watch them. They're interesting to me. And they show different techniques and different um, shave creams and lotions and aftershaves and stuff like that. And one guy, he still uses Brut. I don't know about using that shit, but razors from China tear your hair off. There are some great aftershaves based on top fragrances. Jergens Beat Cream. I don't know if you meant that for real or you being funny because I, I that's at Swim Master Mike because I had a, a old supervisor when I worked at Wendy's um, years and years ago and he used to say he used Jerkins lotion and I never caught on to it until one day he did it again and he did the motion and I was like all right smart ass Jerkins lotion. What's everyone's best fragrance for under 15, 400 ml? Uh, mine would probably.
probably be hmm. under fifteen. I would probably That's one I have to think about because I have a quite a few. The one I can think of off rip for under 15 will probably be Perry Ellis 360 Red. Silver scent. Yeah, Bogart Silver Scent is a damn good fragrance. I forgot all about that, and I look right at the motherfucker. It's right there on my shit on my dresser. But it's a pretty damn good fragrance. Shaving is my other hobby. Hobby. It's good stuff. Look up the fine aftershaves. Fine platinum. It's just like a Ventus. Frank Oliver. Ooh, touch. It's great for about 15. I have uh, Frank Oliver Passion for Men. I don't have the ooh touch. But it's a good one too. Cuba Gold is a Lamal clone for about five bucks. Yes, it is. Perry Ellis White is also a clone supposedly of Lamal too. CK Shock. Yep, that's another good one. I like that one too. Gold and Silver Scent Pure. I had um, Silver Scent Pure and um, Deep. And I sent Deep to one of my um, subscribers. Cuba Gold came first. CK Shock. Never smelled a Frank Oliver. Frank Oliver is not bad. It doesn't last long. It does not last long at all. It smells great. This is the one I have. Frank Oliver Passion for Men. It smells damn good. It just, like I said... It does not last long at all. Smells fruity. Has a little bit of spice to it. Smells damn good. I just wish it lasted longer. Yeah. I still see though them um, English laundries. If you watch my video from earlier when I was in TJ Maxx, um, I did see a few of them in there. I didn't show them, but uh, they were in there. You probably seen them on the shelf, but I didn't pick them up and show them. I did pick them up in one of my other videos uh, earlier in the week or last week. I picked them up and seen them, but I know they had um, the the Oud one. I saw the sport, I saw select, and black is black, the regular one. But I have all of those. I'm looking for some newer ones to pop up, but I might have to order them though. I've seen a Ford Mustang fragrance. I just never tried it. Black Touch smells like Tear Deer Mez. I always wanted to try that fragrance. Not Black Touch, but the the uh, Tear Deer Mez or however you say that shit. Um, I wanted to try it. I think I smelled it before. Um, it's manly. It's masculine as fuck. Uh, but it's pretty nice. It's kind of expensive too. Can't find them around here. And I want to check out 
Windsor, Oxford Blue, and Tahitian Waters. Um, and I have all of those. I don't think I have... No, that's the other one I don't have. I do have Windsor. I have Oxford Blue and Tahitian Waters. They all are great to me. I think Tahitian Waters has the best bottle pack, the best bottle, period. So Oxford Blue came in a four pack just after Christmas and they're these small like 30 mil bottle 30 milliliter size bottles it was this one um, I think what's the other two I can't remember the other three I'm looking right at them but I can't remember the names of them but it was like a four pack for like 10 bucks that these came in and Windsor actually was the very first one I purchased from this house. And it was like 10 bucks. And of course, Tahitian Waters ran me like 15 or 20. And this is the other one that dodged my ass for a long time. I kept seeing it in, T in Ross. And every time I went, I never could pick it up because I didn't have the money. And not, something told me to ask them if they would hold it. And they will hold fragrances for you for a few days until you get the money. But um, I walked in one day and ran into it. And I, obviously, I had the money and I bought it. But look at this fucking mirror finish on this shit, man. It's a fingerprint magnet, but who gives a damn? This is a very fruity, tropical type scent. And do not misinterpret. This is not in any way, shape, or form a clone or close to a clone of Virgin Island Waters. This has nothing to do with Virgin Island Waters. This is Tahitian Waters. It smells nothing like it. Nowhere close. It's its own entity. And it smells fucking amazing. And if you ever run across this fragrance. You better get it. Ted Lapidus. I've seen those Mustangs online. Mustang performance is great. Century 21 stores online. Had 100 mil. Oxford Blue. Does it have... Okay. All these fragrances I just sprayed on and it smells good in here y'all just don't get it all right anyway um, I'm gonna get on out of here I gotta call this girl back and go ahead and see what she want because she's supposed to be bringing me some food and um, I think I have a idea for another video I want to do tomorrow so you guys please stay tuned tomorrow to what fragrance of the day I'm wearing and what my video tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night is going to be. No, I am not going to be doing sports, news, or any of that other crap. This is going to be about fragrances. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you guys for your comments, your questions. Um... Anything else you guys throw out there. If you have any other questions or comments or, you know, any smart remarks you want to throw out there, you know you can hit me up at any time. As long as you don't hit me up too late at night, I do respond. You guys know that. And somebody asked me what the batch code was on my Club Day New Year Intense. Man, somebody had a, a question about it, what I thought about it. And I think... Club Day Nuit Intense, man, being that I purchased that one before I smelled Aventus, which kind of, it kind of clouds my judgment with Aventus because of the price. Uh, but I personally like 
Club De Nui Intense, man, a lot. The opening, I can't agree, is a little harsh because that lemon note, it doesn't have pineapple in it. It has lemon. But on the dry down, to me, and only to me, I'm not saying you guys, but to me, it smells similar to Cree's Aventus. Now, if you're looking for an alternative, um, Zara has one called Vibrant Leather, which is a cheapie. Pineapple Vintage has several. Insurrection Pure 2, if you're looking for a cheapie other than Zara. And there are some other fragrances out there that you can also look into that smell similar to um, Aventus. Me personally, I do have Insurrection Pure 2, which is the decant bottle that I got from the flea market. But I do want to purchase the full bottle of that fragrance and it's cheap. I don't know why the fuck I won't just get it. Um, next time I go to the flea market, I may just go ahead and purchase it. Uh, but all of those higher price fragrances that are clones of Aventus, you can count me out on that one. I don't want it. Um, I'll stick with what I know. And that's all I can do. Now, if you want to know about any other fragrances, you have to do your homework. I'm pretty sure some of your other um my other people on here are very knowledgeable also i can tell they may be able to answer some of them questions but i will get this guy this information that he needs to know about my batch code on my fragrance um in a few minutes but with that being said thank you guys again for tuning in uh like subscribe ring the bell for notifications if you haven't Please let your friends know if you have anybody who is interested in fragrances and you think I'm knowledgeable enough or I have something that I can pull up and show them face to face on my lives. Please do so. Introduce the rest of the world to your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense.